Page 523, number 49. Use matrices to solve the system of equations. x plus 2y equals 7, and 2x plus y equals 8. Well, to use a matrix here, I can write this using just the coefficients. So instead of x, 2y, and 7, I can just write that as 1, 2, and 7. Second equation, I can write as 2, 1, and 8. Now what I want to try to do is to get this into reduced row echelon form. Reduce row echelon form looks something like this. It starts with the left two columns will be 1, 0, 0, 1. The rightmost column will be the two solutions for x and for y because this will be 1x plus 0y equals some number, 0x plus 1y equals some number. So if I could somehow rewrite this matrix so it looks like this reduced row echelon form, I'd have the solution. Well, let's try to start in the upper left corner and work counterclockwise. Well, my upper left corner is already equal to 1, which is what I want it to be, so that's taken care of. Now, let's try to make this number in the lower left corner equal 0. Here's one way I can do that. If I were to multiply this top equation by negative 2, and add that result to the bottom equation to give me a new bottom equation, it would make this lower left number a 0. So I'm keeping the top line the same, 1, 2, 7. My new bottom line is going to be the top line times negative 2 added to the bottom. So 1 times negative 2 is negative 2, plus 2 is 0. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, plus 1 is negative 3. 7 times negative 2 is negative 14, plus 8 is negative 6. Okay, so working counterclockwise, we have a 1 in the top left spot, 0 in the bottom left spot. Now we want to try to get a 1 in the bottom right spot. Well, if I just divide that entire bottom row by negative 3 to give me a new bottom row, that'll do that for me. So I've got 1, 2, and 7 across the top. The top row stays the same. The new bottom row is 0. Divide this by negative 3, I get 1. Divide this by negative 3, I get 2. Okay, we're almost done. The last thing we need is a 0 in this spot right here. Well, if I were to multiply the bottom row by negative 2 and add that result to give me a new top row, I'd have a 0 in this spot. So let's do that. So now my bottom row is going to stay as is. My new top row, I'm going to take every number on the bottom times negative 2, add it to the top. 0 times negative 2 is 0, plus 1 is 1. 1 times negative 2 is negative 2, plus 2 is 0. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, plus 7 is 3. So now that it's in reduced row echelon form, my two solutions for x and y are 3, comma, 2. And I can check those by plugging them in here. 3 plus 2 times 2 is 4. Yes, that equals 7. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 2. Yes, that equals 8. So my two solution, or excuse me, my solution for x and y is 3, comma, 2.